Okay. All right, uh, T43. Dispersion during movement on hull traverse suspension by 25%. Dispersion during movement, 27%. Decrease dispersion of the 85 millimeter D25 blah 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 gun. Guys, why do they put the names of the gun, but not the alpha damage of the gun? Now I have to go to the tech tree and actually check it. What kind of gun is that? This one. Wait. By 43%. So, but the laser gun? Which heavy tank is the best? The one that you perform with the best. Uh, but uh, yeah, there is a lot of uh, different things. Although it, it's heavy, one can have armor, another not. One can be slow, another one can be fast. Single shooting, outer loading, outer loading, a lot of different tanks. So, Sydney, specify the, specify your question. Okay, A44. Uh, I think this is derp gun. Better uh, aim speed, better gun handling, a little bit better reload, okay? Uh, Spark Panzer. Decrease dispersion by 38%. Okay, do they increase the shell velocity? Reload time, blah, 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 blah. Reload time. There is no changes to speed of the shells, which is bad. But yeah, just it's massive boost, guys. 38%. It's insane. Okay, HWK. Dispersion. Dispersion. Okay. Dispersion. More accurate, so it's gonna be laser gun. I mean, uh, RHM has the second best gun. If you are not counting EBRs, it's second best after Sheridan. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be laser gun but it's not gonna change anything I, I wish that we gaming would split light tanks like e bears playing exclusively against e bears there is no way in the world you would play every champ on the wagon against e bear but also there should be a balance where bad light tanks like every champ on the wagon Sheridan and WZ have specific matchmaking uh, where they don't match up against the T100, IMX 105, and Manticore. Because those tanks can reach 50% uh, camouflage. That means in the bush line, you're gonna spot them only with the proximity circle uh, because of the 50 plus percent camo. These tanks can get 50 even with the camo net. Therefore, they are always gonna be outspotted by those three tanks that I mentioned before. So it would be nice if there is only one light tank, let's say T100, uh, the counterpart is going to be either Manticore or IMX-105. Uh, if there is two light tanks, RHM and Manticore, in enemy team, it's not going to be double Manticore or double T100 because it's an advantage. It would be nice and then it, light tanks would be playable. But now there is no point playing RHM, there is no point playing WZ and... Uh, Share them. No point. Okay, Tiger P. Gun handling, reload, reload. Improve the frontal armor. Okay, but it's I don't know how it makes it doesn't matter. A little bit more HP, which is nice. Okay, so grind is going to be a little bit easier. But this massive boost by gun handling, man, it's insane. T95. Uh, a little bit nerf to reload to aim time and change no 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 Wargaming you did it wrong you had to boost the view range because of the bad view range people play with the Camonet binos dude make it bigger so they can replace it with something more useful oh well I mean I see what they're trying to do guys they're trying to make it so you go in front instead of sitting from behind, but I feel like it's gonna affect uh, in the other way. E3, lose 100 HP, 10 meters view range doesn't matter, 
aim time it's going to be a little bit more annoying but also doesn't matter and one second reload time so now with the bound bond vents and bond drummer and directive for rammer you have 12 seconds reload time with the foot and bar other and arms and i think it's going to be 12 and a half not big difference uh it it's i i, I like that uh, they don't change uh, the armor so it's almost as good as it is just longer reload and a little bit longer to aim but this 0.2 seconds to aim time you will never feel it because it scales up it's 2.7 base so we have 2.5 right 2.5 base but now let's have a look at the e3 oh shit Okay, maybe we will feel it. Never mind. T57 heavy. Better gun handling, better aim time, and better reverse. Ooh. This is huge. This is huge, guys. Love that. Okay. ARL. Uh, 90 millimeter gun. What is the 90 millimeter gun on the ARL? 90 millimeter this one top gun 240 you, wait 240 is there not 300 damage gun this one this one that you play with now you play with the 300 okay uh, seven seconds wait so you you will have like five seconds forward speed by three kilometers okay the grind is going to be a lot easier which is nice. IMX 65T. Increase the dispersion during movement on the whole traverse for the IMX 65T base suspension by 12%. Wait. They nerfed IMX 65T? Okay, guys, I've been saying this for a year and I feel like it is a good time to say it again. You know it, I know it, everybody know it. This tank is shit. This tank is shit. It's garbage. It's not enjoyable to play it. You lose your shit playing with this shit. And here is the reason why. On tier 7 on, of this light, even at tier 6, uh, you can try to bait enemies uh, to shoot you in the upper plate. And I mean, yeah, these huge strikes makes it a lot harder, but you have flat upper plate and uh, you can expect bounces from there you grind your way all the way to the tier 7 and you've got upper plate and you can do exactly the same with this vehicle as you were doing with the like it teaches you how to play with the line at tier 7 and if you if we look at the statistics right you angle it a little bit and it is already much harder like you can use it against tier sixes tier sevens depending where they're shooting right to bounce shots and keep your hp so you make them fire off of your flat upper plate and you can pick without receiving damage and then you're like damn this gun is really good in fact this is f 50 t gun uh, from this premium tank on tier seven and it got buffed recently and it's nice right and then you make your way all the way towards tier 8 well first of all what happened to the upper plate why is it no spike i think what we're gaming needs to do they need to get a giant hammer and they need to slam into the upper plate a couple of times so it will flatten a little bit so you can have upper plate as on the tier 7 because this is complete garbage like i would like to have at least one part of armor that can bounce you know because otherwise you just wait for enemies to fire and only then you can pick another thing that they have to absolutely they have to do is this they need to put this turret that we have with the cupola right now here they need to do that and so what it's gonna happen is that this one is gonna become top turret 
you just replace those turrets and now look at this guys you have a turret exactly the same as on i liberty premium thing right but you can be smart about it and uh you can play cooldown as long as your cupola is uh, on the right side behind the cover so imagine the heroes like a building uh, stove of destroyed vehicle rubbles whatever or even using gun depression right it's uh, much much harder to hit the cupola instead of that one so make this stock turret top so you could mount on this uh, turret 400 damage gun so you can do more damage you can trade better and uh, make the upper plate just just change the hull bro i don't care if it's historical or not i don't care it doesn't fit the line this piece of shit is so bad nobody likes it make the grind a little bit better change the hull change the turrets and it's going to be nice it's going to be okay because at least you will have a reliable source of armor that you can uh, pick the turret is going to be reliable and uh, the frontal armor it doesn't have to be 300 millimeters with the like 90 degree when you're looking like this make it i don't know what's the armor of the tier 7 so the armor plate is 110 make it 115 make it uh, all like 120 wh whatever and with the angle a little bit it's going to be like around 200 you know so if you angle a little bit like that and there is a cover of the building at least you can expect a bounce replace turrets boom much much easier you're welcome uh i hope our gaming will listen and uh, i will be getting paid for these ideas could you discuss the equipment for the lion uh, we're gonna do it next after this okay i make some 451 uh worse gun handling worse gun handling worse aim time i love the changes the tank is too strong and i think uh, it's totally fine i mix 51 fl what is this what what is that frontline thing oh who cares um 54 uh increase the dispersion during movement on hull by 33 percent this is massive nerf this is basi basically this is back to what it was guys it's back to what it was worse uh, accuracy dispersion on the turret worse reload time and worse aim time oh i mean you just need stop you will need stop and so you won't be able to run turbo hp and rammer i don't know this is insane um maybe this is a little bit too much guys But yeah, IMX M4 has been overperforming way too much and I'm glad to see the changes. Although I wish that our gaming would be a little bit more flexible with this and uh, do it a little bit faster. Because for how long we had uh, IMX terrorizing random for like half a year? Okay, comment. Decrease dispersion during movement by 25 and 27% for the hull. Uh, Quickie Baby is really happy. His favorite tank is getting buffed. Uh, uh, I think I'm agree with the changes. Mm, I would like to see a little bit uh, our damage per shot boost to like 180, 170, 160. I don't know. Uh, 170, I think, would be fine with the worst reload because you have 110 on tier 5, you have 135 on tier 6 Cromwell, and then you have the same on tier 7, and it just doesn't feel the same. Make it 170, 190, 180, something like that. Uh, with the adjustment, like keep the DPM, uh, just give it a little bit better alpha. The same on Pantera, uh, I feel like, towards Leopard 1. Uh, no, towards E50M. Okay, Centurion. Uh, better gun handling. I really liked Centurion. I played it, I tried to do speedrun of Mark of Excellence, and I really, really liked it. Better gun handling means uh, more enjoyable grind. Centurion. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is insane. 
So basically, we're gonna get like type 61 level. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Can, can, can I check this? Thanks, UG. Public test. Okay. Do we have updated number? Okay, and now we do this. Okay, so 018. Wait, it doesn't change. This is what we have now, 018. And this is what we have here, 018. And you cannot see it here. So it's not yet. Okay, but... Okay, 0, 018 minus 33%. 0, 012. And 0, 012 is the gun handling of uh, Super Conquer, meaning you are no longer required to have stabilizer. And Centurion is going to be like Patton. I feel like people will be playing HP stab uh, rummer. Uh, if, if this is correct, guys, if this is correct, this is Super Conquer. And if you have around 0 12, you can absolutely drop stop and be totally fine with it. Unless your aim time is garbage. Uh, but with the gun handling, it should be totally fine. So I think uh, this one is going to be new gem based on, uh, uh, on these buffs. I think it's going to be new gem, guys. Centurion Action X. Uh, gun dispersion by 29%. 33% a little bit better load and a little bit faster uh, I don't like seeing this getting faster in my opinion it's bad for the game uh, instead of buffing this there should be 10,000 uh, pages of nerfing everything so mediums are the fastest on the battlefield but now we have things like 5a 277 and they're uh, way way faster than uh, mediums and there is no point of playing mediums anymore but uh, it's still nice, nice to have tank a little bit faster, but I think it's just a step in the wrong direction. By making everything faster, the games are going to be even quicker. But yeah, for the Centurion Action X players, it's going to be really, really mm, nice change. Okay, IKV. Dispersion. Better and faster reload time. Okay. I, I mean aiming time. Yeah. Grind is going to be easier towards the steer wheel. Don't care much. Standard B. Increased dispersion during movement. Oh, yo, yo. Oh, yo, yo, guys. Increased. Oh, I mean, I've been playing uh, Standard B after the nerf, and it was not enjoyable at all because 0, 18, 0, 016 and they make it bigger by 11% 0, 0, 0.18 ah yeah yeah it's going to be it's going to be painful progetto increase gun dispersion during movement by 29% Decrease the thickness of the frontal hull armor. Change the reverse speed. I mean, I've I always been a hater of Progetto because it has insane shell velocity, it has good tan, and it's autoloader, and people just sit, sit from behind and they camp. And so I purely hate this thing because of those type of players who is just sitting, doing nothing, and just... Uh, just playing tank destroyers that's why i hate it uh, but i feel like it just it's not gonna change anything but it's just gonna be more annoying for the players so this is insane nerf guys absolutely insane so let's have a look what uh, what do we have now on uh, forget the You have 014, which is really, really good. And this is going to get worse by 
Wait, what? Zero eighteen. So you're gonna be basically aiming forever. You touch your hull, you touch your uh, turret, it's gonna go crazy. Rainus Arontem improved the frontal turret armor. Okay. Increased the velocity of the CC12754 shell. Why don't you just say that increase the APCR shells from 1500 to 1600? It would be so much easier. But now we have to go find this Rhinoceronte and check the shell. Why can't our gaming be just like, you know, noob friendly? Uh, so the shell velocity is 1452 it's already pretty insane and it's gonna get faster by 22% wait bro hit wait Dude, they could they could just sell like it's so confusing, man. And oh, okay, this one. Never mind. Whew, never mind. Okay, seven fifty six. Okay, yeah, that was needed, guys. That was needed. Two nine hundred. Still very slow, but ry ry Rhino enjoyers will uh, will like it a lot. <laughs> I thought it was normal. I piece was getting better. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, nice. Um, nice. Change the reverse speed from 12 to 15. Mm, I don't think that the turret is going to be like way too in impenable. I think you're gonna be able to go through the turret still with the gold rounds. Maybe not as easy, maybe a bounce or two here and there. But yeah. Okay. I, I really like how they do it re really gently, you know? Uh, just the slight touches. But when it comes down to iMix 54, it just bum, 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 bum. So many changes. Okay, fixes, issues, and improvement. Change the cost of the increased shell resistant equipment item in the service and item for bond selection. Fix some interface and technical issues. Okay, I mean, I, I like that. I like that. I'm excited to see Centurion 1, Centurion 7.1. Uh, Comet. I'm really looking forward. Mm, and T43 maybe is going to be insane. Anti 57 heavy, yes. 